Hello learner, welcome to computer coding using Scratch. Today I want to show you how to make a shark eating fish game that is in Scratch. A shark that will be eating fish in the water. So the first thing that we are going to do is to create a fish. So I've already opened Scratch as you can see and uh, on the right screen the animation you are seeing here the one I'm going, uh, dragging is the one uh, this is called Sprite 1 the sprite on the screen is called Sprite 1 and I want to remove it and put a fish sprite so I delete that one and then I click here where it's, it's saying choose a sprite and then on the left I search for fish just type fish I choose the first fish and you can see the fish is on my screen the next thing that I want to do is to reduce the size of the fish so that it can fit well in the screen so I'll come down here where it's written size 100 double click and then type 70 and I press enter and see the size of the fish has reduced then we don't want to fit the, the fish to be in a white background so we are going to change what we call the backdrop we are going to we know a fish lives in water so we are going to put a backdrop called underwater so next to where we were choosing a sprite you can see it's saying choose a backdrop so i click there come to the top left and i search for underwater then i'm going to choose underwater one and wow you can see that the backdrop has changed to underwater and the fish seems to be in the water the next thing that i want to do is to increase the number of fish in the water so that we have many fish in the water so we come to the left side where we have the cords and i want to move to the cord of events down here you can see events I click on events and then I click and drag the cord which says when green flag is pressed the first one on top this one when green flag is click, clicked then I go down and scroll and look for another one which says repeat 10 repeat 10 and I put it below when green flag is pressed <coughs> Then I'll go and look for another code saying create a clone of myself. Create a clone of myself down here. And I put it inside repeat 10 times. So once I do that, I can now click the green flag this is the green flag once I click the green flag 10 copies of the fish will be created they are underlying here so if you try to separate them you can see they are all here these are 10 copies of the fish so we have created the 10 copies of the fish we wanted I want this fish to go to random positions so that they are not all of them in one position so after creating the 10 copies we want the fish to go into random position and uh, what you're going to do is we are going to click and drag the cord go to random position and put it below the cord create a clone of myself I look for a cord saying go to random positions and then I'll get it under motion so I go to the code of motion and I look for a code saying go to random position and then I put that one I put this code below create a clone of myself just there so once I click on the green flag here you can see the fish have gone to different positions random positions 
so the next thing that you want to do is to change the looks <coughs> of the fish in the water you don't want all the fish to look the same we want them to have different looks so we are going to the code looks I click on looks and then under the code of looks I will click and drag the code saying next costume and then I will put it just below the code go to random position there then I click the green flag so we can review what you have done so far by clicking this full screen control here we see that we have diff, uh, 10 copies of fish and they are different costumes so we go back by clicking the full screen control again <coughs> then the next thing that you want to do is to make the fish of course move in the water so we are going to move to the code control and then we click and drag the code when I start as a clone and this code I'm going to put it separate from the other code that I've already created so when I'm in control I move down I look for the code which says when I start as a clone I put it here then I will click and drag forever and put it below when I start as a clone I look for the code forever I put it there then after that I go to motion code after that I go to motion code then I drag I go to motion code then I drag the code saying move 10 steps and then I put it in forever then I will change these 10 steps to be 3 steps like that now let's click on the green code to see what happens yeah you notice that all the fish except the original fish move the original fish does not move but when I click on the green flag you see <coughs> one fish remains does not move so every time I click you find there is one fish which is not moving so we are going to sort out this so we click and you can see the fish are moving so if I put full control I mean full uh, full screen then I click on green flag you can see the fish are moving but the original fish is not moving so we are going to sort that to make the original fish to show and hide in order uh, when you click so that you don't see it remaining stagnant we are going to the code looks then we are going to click and drag the code show this one then we are going to put it just below when the green flag is pressed make sure you put the codes the way I'm putting them because if you don't put them the computer will not be able to operate the commands as it's supposed to be then I will go and click and drag the code hide and put it at the bottom completely at the bottom there so when I click on the green flag you can see all the fish are moving you can put full screen if I click on the green flag or the fish are moving to the edge the next thing that you want to do is to make the fish bounce when they reach on the edge so we want the fish to bounce whenever they reach on the edge so that they don't just go to the edge and then they get stuck there so we are going to the code motion under motion we are going to click and drag if on edge bounce you're going to get a code saying if on edge bounce then we place it just below the code move three steps <coughs> you can see immediately the fish when they reach at the edge they are bouncing they're bouncing then we're also going to click go back to 
we are going to click and drag the code set rotation style left right set rotation style <coughs> left right this one then we are going to put it if below if on edge bounds let's see what happens when you do that at least it looks more real you can view the full screen remember you can also set the rotation style you can change it from left to right right you can say all round for example you can command the fish to move all round let's see instead of just moving left to right they can move up down left all around the water then after that we want to make the fish appear more real because if you look in you find that there are times when the fish are facing upside down <coughs> So to correct that, or to make the fish add a turn, we are going to add a turn so that when they bounce, they make a turn, a clockwise and anti-clockwise turn. So we are going to start with the making a clockwise turn. So when we are in the code of motion, <coughs> we see a code which says turn 15 degrees clockwise turn clockwise 15 degrees and we place it above move three steps there then we are going to reduce this 15 degrees to three degrees like that then we are also going to click Turn 15 degrees, turn and clockwise 15 degrees, and place it before below. Move three steps. There we have placed it. We reduce the 15 degrees to three degrees. Then we review what we have done. Check what is happening now. The fish is moving in the water, and making turning whenever it touches the edge, so they really look like they are real fish which are in water because they are making very good turns. They are moving from left to right, they are bouncing. So the game is becoming wow. The next thing that we want to do is to add a shark. So what you are going to do, you are going to choose Sprite, choose a Sprite, click on that. And then on the search we type shark. We choose the shark 2. We choose shark 2. It appears very big. We can reduce its size to 60. So we go down here, we double click. We click 60. Press enter. Then now we want to make shark movement with arrow keys. I believe you know the arrow keys of the laptop. There's the up arrow key down arrow key left arrow key right arrow key so we want the fish to be moving by the commands of the arrow keys so we got the code of events then we click and drag when green flag is pressed we are now coding for the shark then <coughs> We go again and click the code forever and put it below when the green flag is pressed. We are going to click and drag the code which says if then, if then, this one here, and we are going to put it in forever code like that. Then we are going to the code of sensing and then we are going to click and drag key space pressed. This is a code saying key space pressed and then we are going to put it in the then code with saying then there like that. Then we are going to change this with saying 
when key space is pressed we are going to click there to change and put when the right arrow is pressed the key right arrow so we change that like that then after that we are going to code motion and click and drag point direction 90 then we choose point direction 90 and then we are going to put it below the code if then just there then after that we are going to click and drag the code which says change x by 10 this one and then we put it below change point in direction 90 so this change x by 10 we are going to reduce it to change x by 5 so after coding we click on the green flag and then we test whether it's working we can put the full screen then we click the arrow key you can see the the shark is moving so we have coded well the right arrow key now in order to code for the left arrow key we are just going to stand to bring the cursor where i have brought my cursor where it's written if then right click then you click duplicate and then you just drag the copied uh, commands just below if then like this just make sure that you put them exactly the way i put them below if but inside forever code then we change this one which is written right arrow to the left arrow now and then where it's written direction point direction 90 we change that to negative 90 because it's in the opposite direction then we change where it's written change x by 5 we write negative 5 is the opposite direction then we click on the green flag and we test whether it's working you can see when i click on the left arrow key it's moving the shark is moving <coughs> when i click on the right arrow key the shark is moving when i click on the left the shark is also moving so we are coding properly <coughs> now we want to code up arrow key so we are going to click here where it's written if we right click it's a duplicate we drag the copied commands just below if and inside forever then we change the arrow key to up arrow key point in direction nine negative nine we change it to point in direction zero we just drag this one to zero and then change x by five we are going to remove it this last code here and then we choose one which says change y by 10 look for the code saying change y by 10 this one then we put it here then we change this 10 <coughs> to be change y by 5 so if i test just put the full screen and click on the green flag and i test the arrow key the up arrow key you can see that the, it's moving so the last one we are going to code is the down arrow key so we are just going to come to e where the cursor is the right click duplicate those codes then we just put them just below if code but inside forever then we change the up arrow key to be the down arrow key then point direction zero we change it to point 180 degrees so i drag this down and it reads 180 and then where it's written uh, the code which says change 
y by 5 I change to it to negative 5 the opposite of up which is down so change y by negative 5 now we can test again we just put full screen we click on the green flag we use the down arrow key the left the right and you can see the shark is moving with the arrow keys in all directions if I want to move it right I use the right arrow key left down up the next thing is to make the shark rotate so we go back and we click on the chord motion we click and drag set rotation style left right set rotation style left right and then just put that one below when green flag is pressed so we put it below when the green flag is pressed so when you click let's see what has happened So that has created the motion from left to right. Rotate the, make the fish to be able to rotate. Now we want to make the shark more real. We go to the code of events. I hope you are following. And then we click and drag when green flag is pressed. Then we put it separate. And then uh, click and drag forever. We put it below when green flag is pressed. Then we go to the code loops. And then we click and drag the code next costume. And we put it in forever code. There. Yeah. Then we go to code control. Then we click and drag, wait one second. This one. And then we put it below next costume. And we change this one to 0 0.5. We want the shark to be changing costume after every 0 0.5 seconds. So if we click on the green flag, then put on full screen you can see the fish is opening its mouth it's now changing its costume after every 0 0.5 seconds it makes it look more real now we want to make the shark to start eating the fish so in order to do that we are going to the cord before we got the cord we go to the fish sprite down here we are now coding the shark. We click on the fish. We click on the fish. And then we go to the spray. Uh, we, we go to the code control. Remember, I've clicked on fish because I want to code now the fish. We go to control. We click and drag the code if then. And we are going to put it below set rotation style. There. Set rotation style left, right. Then we go to the code sensing. Then from the code sensing, we click and drag touch mouse, touching mouse pointer. Touching mouse pointer. The top one here. And then I put it in the code event there then I change if instead of saying if touching mouse pointer I change that one to if touching shark if touching shark 2 if touching shark 2 Then we go to the con code control. And then click and drag D 
delete this clone the code saying delete this clone this one here we put it below touching shark 2 there now these commands we have just created will make the fish to disappear to be deleted once they touch the shark so if i put full screen and then i try to move the shark towards where we have the fish anytime it touches the fish the fish is eaten by the shark so i click again the green flag i go eating the fish using the shark So that's how it will be working. Then finally, we want to make game scores, which will show when we, we eat a fish, the scores increase. So we are going to go to code variables, the second last. Then we click make variable, sorry, make variable. And then uh, we are going to write scores and we press OK. Then the next thing we are going to do is to click and drag set my variables to zero. So here we are supposed to be having, so when you are coding this, we are supposed to be in the code for fish. So we click here for fish and then we click and drag set my variables to zero and then put it above show so for you to code this we need to be in the sp sprite fish so i've uh, activated sprite fish and i put set my variables to zero above show then i change variables to scores I just click there and change variables to scores. We click and drag, change my variables by one. We are going to click and drag the change variables by one and put it below touching shark two. There. And change with written my variables to scores. So if I click on the green flag and then I put full screen, anytime I eat the fish, you can see the scores are increasing. If I eat the fish, the scores are increasing. Nine, ten, I've eaten all the fish. If I click the green flag, more fish. Move up. When I eat this fish, the scores keep on increasing. You can also add sound to this uh, game. So the first thing that you're going to do is to click events and choose when green flag is pressed, put it just separate, then choose the code forever, put it there below the when green flag is pressed, then you now go to sound and choose play sound ocean wave until done. Then we can change ocean wave to bubbles. And then we click the green flag. And we try to increase the volume to here. Then we try to put full uh, screen to see what is happening. So you can see I'm enjoying eating the fish. When the fish is done, I can click the green flag to start the game again. Anytime I eat the fish, the scores increase. So now enjoy playing the game that you have made. And don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and bye.